League of Hishinshin. What is League of Hishinshin? There's another YouTube channel I just posted Dude, my I shit. Dude, I have fought Wukong with so many different champions. And yeah, the shit that gets me, the shit that pisses me off, is the whole, like, he just ease into you level 1 and then just starts autoing. And you're like, I know, I'll back off through my minion wave. Would Bloodline be better? Yes. The rune that literally has no impact on the game until you stack it, at which point it will be 0.5% lifesteal. That rune uh, is definitely better for the purposes of beating Wukong in the laning phase. Which is what I said I was taking Q, or sorry, uh, Alacrity for. To get a slightly stronger laning phase. So if I was going to pick more for the late game, I would just go Tenacity, not Bloodline. But I'm not playing for the late game. That's why I went Bone Plating and Shield Bash. To lane better. Then I went with Alacrity, so I could auto attack slightly more. Just back off. Why did all those minions just like target me? Those minions just like ran me down. Hmm. The reason everyone moved over to Conqueror from Grasp is Conqueror got buffed early game and nerfed late game. Grasp and Dying tends to excel early game, and it's got the health scaling which helps, but, you know, realistically, let's be fair, yes, it excels early game, not late game. So, with Conqueror being stronger early game, it's like... It's like, okay, so Conqueror, for many champions, is now better early game and also late game. Or, at the very least, I should say, the difference between Conqueror and Graspian dying in the early game isn't that big, and it still scales better than Grasp. Does Conqueror scale better than Grasp? On most champions, I would say, yeah. Maybe, like, on Lindo, it doesn't? Like, there's a few... I mean, there's still some people who, for example, try to do... There, is, there are a few people who still try to do, like, Grass Panda and Camille, for example. It's not super popular. On Camille, it's a bit different, though, I feel, because uh, Grass does work with her combo better. And she does get an insane health ratio on her passive. But on the other hand, anyone who's played Camille can tell you, boy, once you get that Ravenous... With Conqueror, you do heal a lot, huh? So, I guess my point is that changing Conqueror to a generalist rune that anyone can sort of use was really bad for the diversity of the game. Because, um, when Conqueror just became a generic use this rune, like, do you auto attack people? Then use this rune. You know, it's like, oh, okay. Like, now you're gonna need a lot of reasons to not use Conqueror. Because how many runes are really buffed on melee to make them usable? So you've got Phase Rush, okay. Phase Rush, Grasp, uh... Phase Rush, Grasp, Conqueror, Glacial? They could buff up other runes to be more usable. Like, what if Glacial Augment slowed even 5% more on melee, right? Even 5% more, just so champions like Scion could go back. Because remember Glacial Scion? That was a thing. Or what if uh, Pressy Attack scaled better on melee champions? What if instead of, right now it's like, what, 40 to 180? What if it was like 40 to 220? Um, what if Phase Rush was different? Because right now, it sucks. Hmm. What if they remove or rework Conqueror? Okay, then melee champions become shit tier. Like, okay. You you haven't fixed the problem. You've just made melee champions shit and unplayable. Great. So now melee doesn't have Conqueror. And now ranged champions go back to out-trading melee champions in melee. Great. Now what? Like, do you see what I mean? Like, you guys... 
All the people who are like, oh, well, I don't like that, so we should nerf Conqueror. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, shit. That tower shot hurt a lot. That wasn't the greatest gank I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I mean, the people who whine about Conquer, it's like, okay, you don't like that all melee champions go Conquer. Great. What is your alternative? What would you do instead of that? Would you go Phase Rush? I... Go Phase Rush on a melee champion? I fucking dare you. Go Phase Rush on Darius or Nasus or something into Cassiopeia. Right? And watch. Watch as Cassiopeia stands in front of you and outtrades you. Watch his rise, stands completely still, doesn't even move an inch, doesn't move a muscle, and now trades you. He just stands there. Oh, he didn't go Conqueror? Easy win. Lethal Tempo? That's usable on what? Trindamir? Trindamir who had to be buffed repeatedly because he couldn't use Conqueror? So you're saying we buff every melee champion in the game? Well, no, no, Shinshin, that's not what I'm saying. The end result is, basically, it's not that you guys want Conqueror nerfed, it's that you want to nerf melee champions. It's not that you want there to be more diversity, you just don't want melee champions. And that's why these arguments always boil down to nothing. I want more diversity! Oh, okay, so what's your solution to get it? Nerf Conqueror! Oh, okay, so you're gonna buff melee champions after that? No! Like, so... When they removed the true damage from Conquer, you said that there would be tank meta. I'm sorry, do you not remember Orn? Yeah. There was a tank meta. It was called Orn. After they changed Conqueror, yeah, like, Orn actually just became unkillable for so many different champions. So tank meta is considered only one tank champion. If Riot has deliberately nerfed every other tank into being bad, then yes. Plus, I'm sorry, do you not fight Poppy? Do you not remember that Riot literally just did a sweeping buff to old Bruisers? Do, do we not remember that? I, I'm actually confused here. Do you guys not remember that Riot had to sweeping buff Bruisers through buffing their items? Because Bruisers were actually just being removed from the game? That they've been- that they are intentionally keeping Blade of the Rune King broken? Is sort of a, like, fix to ensure that bruisers aren't removed entirely? I think then you thought there would be a tank meta. Okay, maybe I was wrong about there being an actual tank meta, even though Orn became by far the strongest top laner. Okay. The end result was basically the same, no? Maybe there wasn't an actual tank meta, although it was tanks were the strongest top laners. It became... Bruisers are dead. Which is basically the same end result, no? So maybe it wasn't that there was a shitload of tanks because Riot has over nerfed them. Look no further than Scion. Poor one out for poor Scion, who still hasn't had his shield cooldown looked into. The end result is people did, yes, they dropped bruisers. Bruisers were dying. But here's the other thing you're not realizing. After the Sunfire buff, they buffed Titanic, they buffed Ravenous, they buffed Blade of the Rune King. I don't know if I can call the uh, Death Dance buff a buff in this context, but that's when people started to notice. So actually, before the Sunfire change, he would have been fighting uh, champions less capable of beating him. If people had noticed how strong Maokai was before... 
So really, the argument comes down to, oh, well, we just didn't notice that there were more tanks than Orn who were top two. Top two, top tier. And that kind of becomes a shitty argument, no? I'd make his passive 25%, or sorry, 20, I'd make his passive 25 seconds cooldown at every rank. So instead of 30 seconds early, um, instead of 30 seconds early, uh, 25 after 6, and, uh, 20 after 11, I would just make it 25 at all ranks. So it nerfs his late game healing by a little bit, well, more than a little bit, by a bit, and it buffs his early game healing by a bit. So he's easier to lane with, but, uh... In return, doesn't scale so hard. <laughs> 